on the research. We've moved to a reduced recommendation on SEEK due to the imminent launch at Google for jobs in Australia and in other markets where SEEK operates. Um, at the same time, we've reduced our price target to $19.07 from $21.07. Google for Jobs is a new initiative, um, uh, basically a Google widget. Uh, it's like a box is going to be placed in the middle of the search page immediately after paid advertisements. The effect of this is that six job listings will move from the top of the page to the bottom of the page or over to the next page, making their jobs less visible to um, job seekers. Uh, we believe that SEEK will fight to retain its dominant market position and this is probably going to include some higher marketing spending, some lower price rises than we might have anticipated and certainly higher spending on innovation, new products and features. On a net basis, uh, taking all this into account, we've lowered our EPS estimates by a bit over 8% 8, 8 over the FY19 <coughs> to FY22 period and this reduces our DCF valuation uh, from uh, 2046 down to $19.01. We also think there's some derating risk uh, with the launch of Google for Jobs in Australia. Seek trades on a high PE and a high uh, cash flow multiple, and the new entrant to the market may have investors not willing to pay the same multiples. We've reduced our target EV multiple from 17 times to 16 times, but it's hard to say if that's enough. Long run, uh, we believe Seek's got the tools to beat off the Google challenge. Uh, they have beaten off uh, quite a few challenges over the years. Uh, their systems are very complex and there's 140,000 businesses in, in Australia that essentially run most of their recruitment off a SEEK system which is provided for free, which doesn't come with the Google system. So people aren't going to immediately turn off SEEK and switch to Google um, um, in the short term. So um, the company's beaten off many challenges. Um, however, um, we need to accept that in the near term, it's going to get very hot in the uh, kitchen in Australia and therefore we've moved to reduce 